What's up guys, welcome back to North Phoenix. We are here at the fully renovated North Phoenix property that took, honestly, I think right at a month because I just paid the hard money payment on this. So yeah, it was right at a month. $62,000 spent on this 2,400 square foot, two story, five bedroom, two and a half bathroom property with staging. So yeah, let's have a walk. This one is one of the higher priced properties. Like I, we usually never touch over half a million dollars, but this one was a direct to seller lead from social media. So um, we, yeah, we ended up picking it up for a decent price. The thing is with these ones, they do not move as fast as some of the other lower entry level properties. So this one will probably sit on market for a little bit, but it's a beautiful renovation. I think it's just priced a little bit higher and will take a specific family because it's such a massive house. But um, yeah, it's already listed. So that's a cool thing about this is we don't really have to come here or spend any more money. We're just eating up $5,000 a month in hard money payments until we sell it. Backyard, I believe probably a couple grand was spent. I believe we spent like just under a thousand on the Pebble Tech because a piece was chunked out. So my guys matched it. $1,500 for all the irrigation leaks that are at this property. It was so, there's so many leaks here. And like stuff like that, you don't really see until you buy it. So that's why you're always cushioning a, a decent budget. Got birds in the pool, always frustrating. Kitchen, full renovation. Higher end house, so we did spend the extra money on like nicer Frigidaire gallery edition appliances. 2,500 bucks for these two right here. Went with the waterfall granite, which I always do. Extra couple hundred bucks usually always gives it a really good look. Um, backsplash all the way to the ceiling. It's a little bit darker than what I thought. If we have the lights on, which I actually want to show you guys with the lights on here, it does look a little bit brighter, but yeah. This is it. Staging was ridiculously cheap. I found a company for $1,600 for everything, everything you guys see here. You have your two car garage over there. Quick little half bath downstairs. Not the biggest fan of the situation with the lights in the mirror. I don't like how they dip down. Um, always, you always learn something on these. You have one additional bedroom over here. Washer and dryer included. And we ended up going with carpet. We usually always go with carpet even at, at this price point for the upstairs areas. I like this carpet color, <laughs> kind of pulling away from the grays of what everyone's been doing for the last few years, bring a little bit of the beige back. All the doors were be able to keep, because this is a relatively new house, so everything was in pretty good shape when we came in here. First bathroom upstairs, guest bathroom. Really nice, it came out really good. These tiles are actually like really cheap tiles, but they, they just, I think they look really good with this light on over here. I think it turned out nice with the gold finishes. Delta fixtures, once again, these are like triple the price of those cheap ones, but I think people will appreciate that. Delta faucets as well. Primary bedroom, favorite part about the house. My girlfriend chose out this, picked out this fan. I think it looks good. Natural light from I don't know which way this is facing, but it's a good time of day to be in the bedroom. It looks really good. We have all the sunscreens. So in Arizona, because it's so freaking hot here, there's like bug screens like this, which are just really thin ones that actually block like bugs from coming in. Then there's something called sunshades or sunscreens, which is even a thicker mesh. And it literally like blocks the sun so heat doesn't come through, but it also makes the house look a lot darker. And because we're trying to sell this house, we want to make it bright and airy, so I removed all of those just for the aesthetic of the photos and the showings. Shower, oh, man, I don't know why I'm so tired. Uh, frameless glass, this was $2,400. The shower alone was like probably six grand. I think he charged me 3,800. No, he charged me less than that. It was 3,800 for like the backs, both bathrooms, I think. So I think probably three, Probably, yeah, probably six to seven grand in total with the glass and everything. Um, this was a tub right here. We had to shrink the window as well, privacy glass. This was a little three by three shower capsule right here and we just made a walk-in shower with seats as well. Drain in the center, move the valves to the center as well so no one has to reach in. You have your dual vanity sinks right here, separate mirrors, which I think gives it a good appeal. Uh, I wish this light was a little bit longer, but 
It was a last minute purchase. We actually swapped it out for a light that once again hung down below the mirror. So it is what it is. I still think it looks great. Can't be want, can't get everything that you want here. The granite, really nice granite as well. All new cabinets throughout the house. So that is it guys. 60 something, $62,000 spent. Hard money of $5,000 a month, which is a little bit stressful thinking every month this thing sits. We're probably gonna be in 15 to 20 grand in hard money costs. So sometimes it's good to be a hard money lender because they may end up making a little bit more than, sometimes they make more than the actual flippers themselves if they hold the property long enough. So it's not a bad thing to get into if you guys have money on the side. Hard money lending on private, or on flips or private money. So that's it guys. We're gonna head to another house right now. Today's a content day. So we got a lot of things to do. Thank you for watching. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you guys are looking for a real estate agent out here in Arizona, message me.